The United States is gone and has been replaced by Vermont. I'm unsure why that is. Oh, oh no. What, where? French peasants. Just gonna ignore that. What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex Perfect Goatee Rambler here. And today we're on Europa Universalis 4, the new Emperor expansion. Paradox decided to give me a key ahead of time to show you probably how to uh, play this DLC incredibly badly. If you're not aware, I am quite bad at Europa Universalis 4, as bad as I was at Hearts of Iron 4 three years ago. It was about three years ago when I started doing the Hearts of Iron challenges. So today I thought I'd do a Europa Universalis 4 challenge. Uh, they've added new mechanics for revolutionary nations and I'm going to be doing a challenge, survival challenge, as revolutionary France. And if you're looking to pick up this DLC for yourself, you can pick it up from Games Planet for 15% off by using the code EMPEROR. If you click on the link in the description, that'll take you to the site, then at checkout, put in the code EMPEROR, and you'll get a total of 15% off. Uh, I, I am affiliated with, with Games Planet, so I get a percentage of each sale, so if you're going to get the DLC anyway, you might as well help me out a bit too, right? And if you potentially want to see more challenges on uh, other Paradox titles, or even more on EU4, please let me know in the comments below. Support this video by leaving a like. Uh, subscribe as well, if you don't know who I am. Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm Alex. Hello. <laughs> and if you're wondering what um, em the Emperor expansion does, it adds in a new... Uh, features for the Pope, a uh, new Holy Roman Empire system, uh, revolutions have been revamped, uh, there's new religious mechanics, there's hegemonies, and uh, there's tons and tons of new mission trees. I think some are in the free update anyway, and then some of them are limited to the expansion pack. I mean, a, a lot of you watching this will, will probably already be aware of what's new, so you, you probably know more than me. Okay, so we could start in 1444, but we're not doing that. We'll be doing a Revolutionary France. And, like every video I've been doing recently, run the credits for the history stuff. Welcome to Rambler's History Corner. Despite being, at the time, Europe's most populous country, prior to the beginning of the revolution, the peasants were so poor and the cost of food was so high that many people starved to death. A loaf of bread was reported to be about a week's worth of wages. So during the Reign of Terror, uh, which was the period when the guillotine was being used <laughs> all day and night, pretty much. Uh, over 40, well, around about 40,000 people had were, were beheaded during that period. That's, that's quite a lot. Might be as many people as watched this video. Now, this is something that I wasn't aware of. Uh, prior to the French Revolution, it was illegal to worship as a Protestant or as a Jew. Uh, the religions were completely illegal. However, after the revolution, uh, you could worship as you wished, pretty much. One of the main leaders of the French Revolution was Maximilien de Rospierre. Uh, forget about the pronunciation of that, let's move on. He was known for sending his opponents uh, to the guillotine. However, <laughs> eventually he was beheaded himself. I guess that's what happens if you go mad with power, right? I guess. I don't know. Hopefully that never happened to me. If you're wondering, these facts today came from softschools.com. Pretty much just Google French Revolution facts and then, woo, an article came up. <laughs> so I could go into more detail about the French Revolution, but I really just want to get on with the video. But it's, it's, un it's undoubtedly one of the major events of the 18th century and led to years and years of war and, and, and hundreds of thousands of deaths. Uh, after all of the, if you take into account all of the wars of the various coalitions, etc. So it's, it's, it's truly astounding how just overthrowing one king could lead to so much war and, well, uh, uh, conflict. I'll see you next time. Alright, but here we go. The Revolutionary France, 21st of September, 1792. I don't know what I clicked on then. What, do, what does that button do? 
Oh, 1760? No, 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 1792. Here we go, here we go. The challenge really is just going to be to uh, survive. Um, as you can tell, we, we are currently ruled by a temporary council. We're an independent nation, though. Um, I, I have the levels of... Yeah, those are pretty good, I think. We've got various French ideas. Liberty, Egalatel, Falatani, etc. Uh, we are allied with the United States. Noish, please help me. Should we go for Iron Man mode? Yeah, why not do this challenge in Iron Man mode? So if I make a mistake, you're gonna see it. Help. Help me, please. That's not a reassuring first sound either, is it? Just, just... The Chonker will keep me safe. Chonker... As you'll be able to see, we start at war with Prussia. War of the First Coalition. Prussia, Baden, Hanover, etc, etc. We're not, surprisingly, at war with Austria, which I thought that we would be. They are allied with Sardinia Pedemont, which I have rudely occupied. So we might be... <laughs> oh no, no. Okay, so we could actually just peace out right there. Oh my god, yes, we can actually piece them out. Are you having a giraffe, mate? That'd be great. Yeah, I'll just take those two. So I don't need a cat. Can, can exist after that. Awesome. Part one of the challenge, fini. Now, we just need to defend against the Prussians, I guess. Hopefully they don't come in from the south. That'd be rather rude. Okay, I think I can... I've got a bit of a chance now. We do have a rather large navy. Ha ha ha. And then, obviously, uh, these missions haven't been updated since the game would have begun in, in the 1400s. So we'll just do all of that. Centralise. Conquer Burgundy. Subjugate Lorraine. Annex Alsace. It is Falange, not a German. We have policy. But as you can see, I'm rather poor. So the new feature, as you'll see here in the government, we've got the... Oh, the El Guillotino. Hopefully we won't use that too much. But yeah, we're a revolution. Death to kings. So I've only got about... Uh, 50 hours in total on on EU4, which you're probably thinking, sacre bleu. Uh, yeah, you'd be right. It is kind of sacre bleu. I can't afford any advisors. I will have to look at my bank balance. If I didn't worry about corruption, I have to worry about corruption a little bit. My army maintenance is way high. Oh, I'm going to have to take out a loan for this freaking war, aren't I? Do you know what? Let's just see how it goes. I'm sure people will be willing to give me money. I hope. Okay, yeah, now we now we uh, pieced out with Sardinia Pedemont. We do actually outnumber them in terms of troops. So I might be able to afford to just get rid of a... Oh, they've got 4,000 cannons. They didn't have any cannons. If I get rid of these... Yeah. So if I unpause very slowly... Oh. We won there. Okay. Our steward reports that Great Britain has entered a golden era. Bruh. Look at all these events. <laughs> Okay, I could do elite revolutionary guard training. I don't know if I've... Maybe a professional past declaration of indulgence act. Mm, I say. <laughs> I think I might just half the size of the navy. Like, halving the size of my navy is quite a drastic thing. I could just take a loan. Oh, I think I need to mothball some forts. Like in Anjou. What's the point? There's no point. Three in a row there. Oh, this is just excessive. I could afford it, I'd keep them, but I clearly cannot. Oh, no, no. Would they accept peace now? Revolutionary France will give core. Revolutionary France will pay 3,000 ducats to Prussia and its allies? No. It's a shame I just can't be allowed to go into debt, isn't it? I'd take that. I would take the debt. Is Prussia at war with anyone else apart from me? Oh, wow, they're allied with a lot of people. Huh. Cardi is now the seat of a new cardinal. We've taken a loan. Balls. Not really what I wanted. Um, we are suffering from low maintenance. That's fine. Provincial unrest. Oh boy. That's a lot of peasants. If I, if I, if I, if I, if I, do I, what do I do? <laughs> we can either support the Jacobins, the Imperials, or the Guildenists. They will try to create a revolutionary empire. I, I'm not going to bother dealing with the factions at the moment i don't need i don't know if i need to worry about too but, oh construction cost leading faction actually who gives me the most tax oh they do the jack oh yeah 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 jacobins for the win it doesn't appear that prussia has sent an army to stop me so far Wittenberg is asking for peace i'll decline that for now <gasps> the bible has been translated great news yeah that helps with reform doesn't it so we've got 25 percent. surely that should be 
enough for me to be like, all right, mate, let's have peace. Or could I actually demand something? Could I actually demand Barden? Okay, it looks like Prussia's coming in with an army now, so I think I'll just have white peace. I think that works, right? This might be cowardly, but my nation is in a, a bit of a da disastrous... Uh... I'll just get a little bit of money. I've done it. Challenge done. Challenge done. Revolutionary France survives. <laughs> just kidding. I will keep going, obviously. Uh, I, I, I want to see what happens next. Um, however, this is this is very good for me that Prussia tried to humble me and it couldn't. So now, with the old bim bam boom, just take that right down and increase our corruption rooted out of this. Then I can repay all loans. Boom. Pazow. Oh. Could you ask for any more? We don't have any rival. Well, we do. I guess I'll rival people that can't attack me. The Ottomans. <laughs> and the Qing. Could have some national decisions. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have the uh, Public Welfare Act. Bim, bam, boom. Noish. Okay, so now that things might become a little bit steady, um, I could add in more uh, policies, etc. I could found the... Oh, yeah, why not found the Indian Trade Company? Yeah, I like ducats. Um, I'm also going to standardise my uniforms. Increase the Vanguard Revolutionary Guard training. Hmm, I don't have them enough money, really. So the revolution has spread to 0% of revolutionary France. Ah, our glorious army is enhancing the prestige of our nation. You're welcome. I'm pretty good. Uh, now, one thing I'd like to do um, is, is get money. I love money. So I'll increase my national tax modifier. Oh, yes. Boom. Get me some of that, son. Boom. Now I, I can only build two of them, and, then, and now I'm now I'm running out of money again. I'm sure it's fine, though. The United States has gone and has been replaced by Vermont. I'm unsure why that is. They're still allied with me. It's led by the Grand Council George Washington. They're a Grand Republic. Okay, then. All right. Oh, I don't really want bribes to become accepted unless I'm doing them. Come on, now. Improvements in trade technology. Uh, use caution. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you may be thinking, oh my god, I can't believe he just went out of that war without doing anything. Well, yeah, that's exactly what I did, and I will do it again, if it means that I don't have to fight when I don't need to. Um, that could have turned into quite a dodgy conflict, but I guess it could have ended better than that. The Commonwealth is offering an alliance. Are they mainly occupied right now? Defender against Russia. They're allied with the Papal States. They appear to be very occupied by Russia. So I will decline this alliance. Thank you, though. Appreciate that. I like how they only ask for my help when they're in dire need. Uh, where were you when Prussia... Not Russia. No, when Russia, Prussia, Prussia, Russia came, came for me. All right, yeah. We're still going up. Look at this. Boom. Boost it. It only costs 10 administrative power to do. That's really cheap. Okay. Yeah. 100% Jacobins. We've done it. I could if I wanted to spend any... Uh, I don't have any papal influence, never mind. Each year you gain negative 96 because I'm the birthplace of revolution. Okay. Oh. So I have the conquest uh, causes belly against pretty much everyone because I apparently want to spread the revolution. So Switzerland, who are you allied with? Aachen and Württemberg. So I, I, I could. I rather outnumber them. But this might be fun. Mm, I still don't have enough money for any of these revolutionary... Wars I can't afford. If only I wasn't so worried about money. If only the people just gave me more money. Oh, but elephants are going to take over my little bit of India. Brilliant. Can't really do much about that. I've got zero defense. Sure, just take it. Take it, Mr. Elephant. And my harvest just failed. The term is up for Jules de Maurepas. He can stay in office. Oh, military candidate. Oh, uh, I can either get a 4 one I can uh, a 5 six, one, a 4 one, one, a one, four, one, or a 1-1-4. One, one, I'll just keep, I'll, I'll keep jewels, whatever. And then I can spend 100 military power to strengthen my government. Sure. To the guillotines. An alliance with the knights. Do I care about allying with Malta? Not really. It's all the desperate people that want my help. Austria has sown discontent in my population. Spit bit rude but apart from that like after the first coalition war everything's all been going hunky-dory sort of like I, I don't really know how to oh whoa whoa just seize all their wealth nice and that 
my friends, allows us to declare war on Switzerland. Kind of forgot to turn my army to tradition up, but this should be fine still. Should, 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 should be in a tip top shape. Yeah. Spread the revolution. I did have to reduce the size of my army, um, but uh, we're still. Oh, just minus nine. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done this to Switzerland, but at the same time, like. Revolution, bruh. Oh, that's a lot of truces that have just expired. It's fine, it's fine. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I tabbed out and left the game running by accident. I now have d uh, back to the front. A defeat is only a defeat if the army believes it is beaten. Our high quality army is good. Turmoil in the army. Oh, men of ambition is what we need. Frankian, a comrade all company coinage. Oh my. That was it. Okay, nothing, nothing else has gone wrong. Nothing else has gone wrong, I don't believe. We're, we're, we're all, everything's good in the hood. Okay, spend 20 reform progress to gain the following effects. Sure. Oh, do I want liberty ideals, El Gal ideals, or Thratanit ideals? Culture conversion, harsh treatment, yearly Republican tradition, Jacobin influence? Sure. Boom. So, I believe, in order to get these um, government reforms through quicker, I just need to give everyone a bit more local autonomy. The lower the local autonomy is, the faster you'll gain... Oh. So, let's see what we can do. I mean, I could actually take it, couldn't I? <laughs> yeah, the demands are just take the whole nation. Okay, nice. Alright. Ha ha! Switzerland is mine! All mine! Plague. Boo. Well, no one appears to be doing any more kind of coalition wars against me. Probably because I haven't annoyed anyone. So really, winning the revolution really isn't that tricky. Make a call, please. Thank you. Commonwealth would like an alliance again. I'm still not convinced. No, I, I um... One thing I do like is that before you go to uh, war now, you can actually see the amount of troops that each of you have, which is pretty tasty. And in fact, it, it would be quite fun to maybe declare war on Spain. Ooh, though, oh, yeah, why? It might be fun. Might be fun. Spread the revolution to El Spanish. Should I boost my stability? Yeah. What mission did I fulfill? Completed one mission, centralized France stability, reform, not the age of reformation. Okay. Sure, I'll take it. Then yes. Do you know what? Might as well risk it for a biscuit, eh? This challenge hasn't really been very challenging. Um it, it's partly I think this a bit frustrating is that it's taken me forever to do these government reforms. Uh it's it's mainly because I just don't have enough reform progress. And I can't really get any more than I've got. But we can get a constituent assembly or a legislative. Let's do the legislative assembly. I can speak English. Yeah, it's going to take till 1816 to unlock the next one. So even if I wanted to get like a Napoleon figure, it's going to take freaking forever, mate. Oh my god. Yeah, I might as well just have a cheeky war. Oh, just kidding. They have 165,000. And they're also allied with. They weren't allied with Austria a minute ago. Oh, mate. Hey! Ooh, a rebellion. That's cute. Oh no. Oh, my army maintenance is all <laughs> is all the way down. Um, that would be why the rebels beat me. Whoops. Okay. See, now they don't. Um, now they're not allied with Austria. So I'm a bit confused here. Should I just risk it for a biscuit? Just have a little bit of a bit of fun. Oh, let's just risk it. Like this challenge hasn't really been a challenge until now. Spread the revolution, baby. Coming for your Spain. Gonna take it all from you. They weren't prepared for me. It appears they're assembling uh, quite a large host. So if I just go down and attack them, we might have a chance here. I don't really, I didn't check what their military tech level was. So Spain, for all I know, could could be uh, chonkier than me. Yeah, look at all that. Look at all the. Oh, they do have a lot of. Them. Ooh. Oh, oh no. What, where? French peasants. Just gonna ignore that. We have a, a rather large battle going on down there. And we've been uh, intercepted here. So our force here might be in a pickle. Uh, not, not really. Oh, we won. Oh, okay. 
Uh, okay, I was worried for no reason. This is all going rather well against El Spain. It appears they're like colonial forces, and their army in general are uh, 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 inferior to the French. The siege of down here is taking a very long time, but we are making good inroads to the rest of the nation. France just seems to be a bit of an OP faction, despite having a massive revolution. No, I guess the revolution made it stronger. I'm very good. Oh, they're marching. No, 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 no. Oh, that's quite a, that's quite a stack. That's quite a stack. Maybe I should have sent reinforcements down here. Yes, yeah, so they're marching work. Ugh. Okay, so this is going to be a big fight right here. Um, I hope I can... Oh, I was hoping to pursue them a bit more, but maybe I should just count my blessings that we managed to fend them off. Yeah, I'll try and take Toledo and Madrid. <laughs> well, Madrid was taken really quite easily. Um, I should probably try and intercept these forces. I'd rather not have any more issues. Yeah, I think I'm having a bit of a terrain penalty in here, but um, I think we're going to do it. Yep. Ay ay ay. Okay, I guess I'll send this stack up. Deal with the rebellion. <sighs> this invasion of Spain has actually gone really well. <laughs> I'm happy with this, wow. Oh, look at that stack they've got hiding there. But well, if I send those fellows in, I'll wait till they move one more province. They, 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 they do have the high ground, but then... Oh yeah, oh, 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 I'm dominating them. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh no, I'm losing. I'm losing. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, we won Malaga. Ooh! Napoleonic Square Infantry. Oh, baby. Going down to Alicante. Okay, I think I might intercept their main army again. Yep. Oh, noish. So, uh, yeah, most of Spain is under my command <laughs> now. I am out of manpower, though, so that's not great. Especially when I'm trying to take attrition, trying to take Malaga. Ah, it's over. Okay, everyone, converge. Thrust them in. And I guess they'll be stack wiped, right? Because they can't go anywhere. Oh, no, they get... What? Are you having a giraffe? No, no escape for you, thank you. Okay, so Spain will be forced to give revolutionary France 10% of their income. Each month, this will last for 10 years. Spain will also pay 1800 um, I didn't take anything. I think I messed that one up. I think I messed up the peace deal. Uh, well, what did we expect? Really, this is me playing. <laughs> of course I'm going to mess up the peace deal on Iron Man. And I, I think that's where I'm going to leave it for this, for this playthrough. Uh, I think I've shown off the... I haven't shown off this, obviously, because this is the new Holy Roman Empire stuff. And the paper seed... Because I'm a revolutionary uh, nation, they, they hate me. Um, but yeah, I think I've, I think I've shown off uh, a good amount of what this DLC has to offer, maybe? Uh, but yeah, if you, if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more EU4, do let me know in the comments below. But I'll be back very soon. Oh, and check out Games Planet if you want to get that. If you want to get the DLC. Alright, see ya. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Seth Katastovic, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Kaiser Davidrist, Tad House, Cobby Was Taken, Active Osprey, Matt Zuvu, Just Made This for Alex, Woop Woop, Vaish, Warren P. George, Gregory Craven, Dave the Don Lambert, Valhalla Halls, Goozy Dibs, Ya Boy, Wombat Cookie, Daff Falcon, Ryan Cock, Jack Truco, Aiden Shear, Jiggly Crotch, Use Beef, Sean Young, Log and Logan Whaley for being ridiculous rounders of on Patreon, and many thanks to all the patrons too. Other patrons too. Oh my god. <laughs>